It feels like I have not filmed in a while because I just, I'm like in the recovery phase of a cold. You know when it's like not a cold anymore, but you're not like a hundred percent yet? Yeah, I'm like right there. But a bunch of new makeup came in the mail and I really want to play with it. Hello everyone! I'm here today to share with you guys a new video testing out some products that are really, really highly rated on Sephora, but also really new. Hence the title. These are all brand new products to Sephora and they have over 4.5 in terms of their rating. So I figured like it'd be fun to test them out, see what the hype is all about and if it's actually worth it. And I'll do a full day wear test for you guys so we can see how everything is wearing. I've chosen six different products here so we can really like dive into them a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you click on the thumbs up button as well as subscribe if you haven't already for new videos every Thursday and also on Sunday. And without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, now that we're zoomed in, I have my foundation on and I have my brows on because those ones didn't have any new five-star products, I guess. So the first product I'm going to test out is a concealer. This is by Cover FX. It is their Power Play Concealer. And this thing has a 100% five-star rating. No joke. Not even like a random people don't know how to rate things one star. You know those reviews where they're like, this is the best product ever, but then they rate it one star because they don't know how star systems work. People are freaking out about it in the comment section. It's good coverage, it's not thick and heavy, it does everything, conceals, brightens, highlights, it's better than the Tarte Shape Tape, like it is the best concealer of life, apparently. It looks like this, it also has a, oh, that is a, that is a weird app. Oh, I don't like that. That's a weird one. Come on, cover effects. Why? Why that shade? I chose the shade N Light 1, um, which I think will be a good fit for like my under eye area. I'm just going to dot it. I don't know why I'm dotting it. I haven't dotted concealer under my eyes in a long time. So far, it feels really good underneath the eyes. I'm just going to pat it in with a sponge to start with and see how that does. And if I don't like it, I'll use a... Um, a brush next. Oh my gosh, I don't know what is in this stuff, but like that is massive levels of coverage, but it's not creasing at all. Like at all. What on earth? What is in this stuff cover effects? The color is a good match for me too, in case anyone was wondering. Sometimes that's a swing and a miss for me, but today I seem to have done okay. I'm gonna put a little bit on my chin and down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on either side of the nose, and I'm just gonna use a brush for this. Let's just see that. Like, look, like I put so little on my chin and that was a big mistake because it was actually a lot. Let's just take some of that away. A little bit goes a long way with this concealer, but it is blending out beautifully on the skin. I had to like dab and like tug some of it off because again, I used way too much. Really pretty coverage though. I see why people like it so much. Oh man, if this holds up like this all day, this may be better. Next up is a powder by Laura Mercier, and this is playing off their cult classic, which is their translucent powder, and this is the glow version of it. This has a 4.6 rating out of 5. It's going to lock down all of your makeup for 12 hours and give a nice, like, subtle glow to your skin. Ooh, and it also has no flashback formula, so this can be, like, a really good option for photos. Good to know. So in the instructions, it doesn't say anything about baking. Um, so I'm going to use just a brush to kind of like dust it onto the skin. Um, I assume it's fine to use for baking, but I don't actually know. Like, I don't know if maybe because it has all these like glow elements in it, um, just putting it on like baking it into the skin is just going to be too much. So far the whole like glow factor is like very like subtle. I guess that's kind of what you want. You don't want to be like, whoa, that's super glowy right there and the undertone seems to be more of like a golden glow to the skin in case anyone is curious that's what i'm noticing anyway okay now that i'm like building it up a little bit more i can definitely see the subtle like the glow along the cheekbones can you guys see that it's subtle but it's there i am kind of curious how this looks in natural light though so i will keep you posted i feel like for this one if you like the look of really like super glowy skin like i really like this one by laura geller the one that had that sort of like intense highlighty effect um, but that's my personal preference. I think if you have oily skin, you may not like the way that this looks on the skin unless it's like a like a really subtle highlight maybe. I personally like the look of this thus far though. Next I want to try out this palette by Too Faced. This is their Sugar Peach Wet and Dry Face and Eye Palette. This is a quad, I believe, of four different colors. Can be used, as the title would suggest, wet or dry. And can be used as eyeshadows or all over the face. It has a 4.7 out of 5 a star rating. And it does smell kind of peachy. And kind of like that candle way. Oh, I got some on my nose. So the four shades are a very, like glittery well this one in particular is very glittery but they feel very um very creamy the shades are really nice and like super pigmented 
even dry. So I don't know how, like, how much more intense is it gonna get if you make them wet? Let's find out. This is dry and this is wet. So it is a little bit more intense and I can see this more as a use for like an eyeshadow or something like that. And I'm gonna use the bronzy shade today as like a glowy bronze look. There will not be one part of me that will not be glowy today, apparently. That's a little intense on that side. I don't know how that happened. Let's just dial that back a bit. People are saying that the quality is just really good. The colors are beautiful, super flattering. The highlight is blinding. These are all, these are good things. These are good, this is a good sign. Let's try peach honey on the eyes. Ooh. Ooh, that is pretty. It's very smooth to blend onto the eyes, which is really nice. Then I'm gonna take my Fix Plus here and I want to put it into sugared peach, which is more of this like peachy glitter shade here. So I want to see how glittery is it? That is very pigmented. Just a little glittery. Just a little. I don't know if I love this shade on my eyes though. It's kind of like, like pink eye vibes. I don't know. I would definitely like this as a blush, but I'm actually testing out a different blush today. Did not think this through. It's fine. I think everyone's right in terms of like, the formula is nice. The colors are flattering. It's not wowing me, but in terms of the quality and if you're like really interested in the shades, like it's, it's nice. It's just not something that like, is exciting me, you know? Pop a little of this highlight shade in the center. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, now I have on a bit of mascara, and now we're gonna, actually, <laughs> there's a lot of mascara on there. But now I wanna go on to a blush, and this is by a new brand to Sephora, and I've never tried any of their stuff before. It is the brand Kaja, I believe is how it's pronounced, <laughs> I think. It is their Cheeky Stamp Blendable Blush. I got the shade Bossy, which is like a pretty coral shade. Um, but this one is interesting, because you're supposed to like, stamp it on your skin and then like blend it out and it has really high ratings like 4.9 out of 5 ratings and it is supposed to deliver a crush worthy crush worthy flush oh my gosh bomb it has a heart shaped stamp to it so you stamp it onto your cheeks and then you blend it out and it's going to give this beautiful flush to the skin stamp it once for a natural looking glow or twice for a bold pop of color got it okay so we have the little spongy thing here <laughs> That's a lot stronger of a stamp than I thought it was. I thought it was gonna be like, you know the little like squishy stamps? Yeah, no, it's not like that. So this is what the shade looks like. I'm going to stamp it in here. Actually, I should, oh, that's very pigmented, okay. So it says to press the sponge into the product, stamp it on the apples of the cheek, and then blend immediately with fingertips. Okay, okay, so this is gonna be a quick time thing, got it. So, <laughs> Yeah, that, that's a heart. Okay, let's go in. Blend it in. Blending it back. I don't know how, how would you need like two stamps of that? That's like pretty rosy to me. It does blend out really easily though. And I'm also blending it on top of powder and I had no problem, so that's nice. Okay, on to the next side. And then we just blend it in. That was pretty, pretty easy. The color itself is really pretty. The product is really pretty. The only thing that I'm worried about is there isn't an actual like, like sealant the way that a lot of like cushion foundations, for example, have that like extra lid to kind of seal in the product to keep it from drying. It doesn't have that. It does have this lid, but there's still an area in there where air can get into it. So I feel like it might dry out really quickly. So that'd be my like my big watch out, but it is pretty cute. So now back to highlight. I actually have two different highlights that I wanted to test out. One was from the Wet and Dry palette, but I forgot I also bought the Fenty Beauty, the Diamond Bomb, which is an all over diamond veil. It was apparently inspired by a like diamond dress that Rihanna wore. It's supposed to be the closest thing to like bathing in diamonds. It has a rating of 4.7 stars out of five, and it's just like a diamond dusted highlighter. You just put it all over your face. And the comments here are so positive, like the perfect silver sparkle. It's so fine of a glitter. It doesn't look gaudy. It looks amazing, like dusted all over the body, on the cheekbones. People have been using it as sort of like a fake glossy effect to the eyes. Like people seem to really enjoy this. And like you guys know, I'm not a big fan of glitter highlights. I think that they look tacky. It's just not my favorite look, but this was kind of calling to me. I needed to test it. So first of all, it is like butter. Oh my gosh, that's so smooth. It just feels expensive, like, oh my gosh. Okay, I can see why everyone's so obsessed. All right, okay, I'm in it, I'm in it to win it. Let's just like dust some on it as a highlight, shall we? It looks gorgeous on camera. In person, you can definitely see a little bit of the sparkle. This is definitely not like an everyday 
highlight for me. But I can see why people like this for like events and things like that. Like it's sparkly, but it's not like toddlers and tiara sparkly. I wonder what it looks like if I put a little bit of the peach pearl on one side and just like like layer it on top. I don't know. Whoa, whoa. Maybe a little bit overboard on the highlight, Rachel. I don't know why you had to like bring that into your eye makeup look, but that's fine. I think I prefer how it looks almost as a topper to a highlight versus by itself. That I think is just a personal preference thing. Um, I like how it looks kind of mixed in with this highlight from too Faced. Oh my gosh, it's too much highlight on the nose, Rachel. What are you thinking? Ugh. This is definitely pretty. It's not like a necessity to me, but I can see why everyone is obsessed with it. I want to put it on top of my eyeshadow and just see what that looks like. Because to me, if that looks really good, this might be the reason for me to buy more of it, you know? That is like surprisingly subtle. I was expecting it to be more all out, but all right. This to me is one of those beautiful extra products that if you have a specific event or you go to a lot of events, you go out a lot, like, it is beautiful and it looks gorgeous under the light. I can imagine like in um, flash photography, it would look stunning. Um, this to me isn't an everyday staple, but the product, the quality and everything is really, really good. But again, if you don't like glitter, don't buy this product because you will not like it. It was like the primary reason for anyone that rated it low. They're like, it's so much glitter. It's like, well, yeah, it's a glitter highlight. And now I wanna test out a liner. And I know I've kind of like gone all over the place with my look today, but this is by Shiseido. This is their micro liner ink. It has a rating of 4.8 starts out of five and this is like the cool thing about it so it's an inky pen that has this like thermosensory technology that's going to that sounds so marketing by the way thermosensory technology oh my gosh but it's basically going to transform the product from a solid to a liquid once it gets in contact with your skin so it's going to create this almost like water resistant film on the skin that's going to last up to 24 hours i don't know that sounds really high tech just say though i got the shade black so i thought it would be an interesting test to see how this would do on my waterline um and just see if it actually stays put also i don't know if you can notice but like under my eyes some of the mascara is starting to smudge into my concealer and powder so I think I wouldn't use this to set my under eyes I would use something a little bit more like I don't know I don't know how this would look if I set it like baked with it you know too short should we try it let's try it I would rather try it and it look terrible than you do it oh absolutely not nope don't do that nope it's like turning bright yellow under my eyes nope 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 oh regretting that decision. Shouldn't have done that. It's fine. Don't bake with it. So anyway, liner. I'm going to apply this right wiggling it into the lash line and along the water line. I want to start there and then I'll use a little bit on the outer edge as well just to see how it applies, if it skips at all, if it's easy to smudge out, that kind of thing. But the product is applying really nicely, like wiggling it into in between all of my lashes. It's like catching really well and applying. It's very black. So far so good. And then let's put a little bit on the lash line here. Ooh, it is very creamy. The only thing is this is definitely more of like a smudgy look. You cannot get a really crisp line with this thing. Yeah, this isn't precise enough for me to like smudge it along my lashes, but I would use this as a waterline pencil if this holds up all day. So I will update you guys at the end of the day. We'll see how everything is looking. In terms of like my first impression of everything, I think my favorite is the concealer. Where did I, where did I put that? Oh my gosh, don't, oh. <laughs> thought I misplaced it already. I was like, no. It just looks really good on the eyes. It applied beautifully. It's still holding up really well. I really am enjoying this so far. Um, the glow powder, I don't, think I'm going to use a lot of because I've been playing around with the one by Laura Geller. I tested this out in the one where I tested out a whole bunch of products from Pretty Little Thing and one of the products was this um, powder by Laura Geller. It has that same sort of glow factor to it but I like this one better I think. It doesn't have as much of like a yellowy undertone. Um, so I don't love the glow powder as much. The Fenty product was good but it's more of like a special occasion thing and the quad by Too Faced is like it's nice, it's good quality. I really like the highlight. The highlight is beautiful, actually. I think the quality is really good. If these colors stand out to you, I think it's a great buy. It just like, it doesn't like speak to me, you know? And then the eyeliner applied really well on the waterline. We'll see how it holds up all day. So I'm gonna go about the rest of my day and I will check in with you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so it is now the end of the day and I'm whispering and I'm at the bathroom because Chris is in the other room sleeping off the cold that I probably gave to him. So we're gonna do an update in the bathroom. So first of all, let's talk about the powder. It just, it, it doesn't work for me. 
it doesn't work for me. It's a much warmer undertone and it's a little bit deeper than translucent. Um, so it doesn't really work for my skin tone. Um, so it's just picking up a lot of gold anytime I move my head, but not in like a natural looking way. Um, maybe if you had a darker skin tone, this would look really, really pretty. But for me, it's just, it's past. And you can see like under the eyes, it has not done a thing to keep my mascara in place. So that has been a little bit of a bummer. I did really like the concealer though. And I liked the way that it looked. Um, I would just try a different setting powder with it. Um, so I will I'd be absolutely using that again. And then the liner is interesting because it seems to almost have gone like more gray on the lash line, but then along the lashes, like on the waterline, it's still really black and it's still pigmented and it's stayed put. It's just my mascara that's raccoonizing all of raccoonizing. That's not a word or a phrase, but I don't like it on my lash line. I think I do like it for my waterline though. I'm gonna give that one another go. It seems to have held up well. Shh, boom, quiet. And the quad, I really like the highlight in it. It is very flattering, super pretty, but again, my opinion still stands on that. Um, that is how my makeup has looked by the end of the day. Look at that highlight though. I have to say I really like the Fenty Diamond Balm. I was a little skeptical, so I was like, glitter. But it has given such a pretty effect on my skin when mixed with that Too Faced highlight. I wouldn't use it by itself, but I would definitely mix it again with more highlights. That is pretty. I don't know, have you guys tried any of these products before? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Are there any new and highly rated products that you guys want me to test out next? I really enjoyed this, this was a lot of fun. And check out the videos that are currently on the screen. I'll put them right here um, in case you have missed any. And then leave me your favorite of an animal emoji, whether it's on this video or wherever video you end up at. <laughs> I'm very curious. I hope you guys are having an awesome week and I'll see you guys all on Sunday. Love you all. Mwah.